Hi, this is Chris from The Stephanie Miller Show. Please enjoy this exclusive clip from Political Voices Network. Uh, Black Knight says the Confederate States mobilizing all their National Guard troops under the auspices of challenging the federal government seems a lot like planning an insurrection to me. Yeah. Is it, it smells insurrection-y, it does. doesn't it? A little, hmm. Huh. Uh, Especially when Trump ordered the House not to work on a border right, bill. Right, yeah. right, right. Uh, Dean Obadala, our friend, said Trump calls on red states to deploy National Guard to Texas as state clashes with federal government over border crisis. Trump is mobilizing a new Confederate army. Why is Trump not already in prison? That will be my first question for Glenn Kirshner in just a few minutes. Um, also, I, and I know Dean probably differs with our friend Allison Gill on this. Do you know what they this. do to soft, bald, oh, overweight Republicans in yeah. prison? Even if you have a swirly dead ferret on your head that passes for a hair-like substance uh-huh. by the way a lot of people are pointing out his makeup i don't know what is going on with his makeup it's not good it's yeah. never good yeah it's gotten worse um dean anyway i was saying i know dean uh, differs with allison on this but i you know i know glenn is also impatient but dean said as we watch trump build a new confederate army i hope merrick garland feels good about uh not swiftly prosecuting trump um one of the things i want to ask glenn about is um you know how we were all like oh it's okay Supreme Court's not hearing immunity. The DC is gonna, you know, the DC is gonna move quickly. This didn't feel like quickly to me. No, the circuit's not moving yeah. quickly at like all. What? It, he, any delay plays into Trump's right. hands, right? right? Mm-hmm. By the way, how long did his testimony last? Like a minute, a, minute. a second, sixty and seconds. A, <laughs> not even, not even eleven seconds. I think it was three. Before three the judge was like, no, no. It was like a one he, one hundredth of a scare. Alina Haba. Oh, bless bless you. you. Thank you. I mean. The first question she set him up for was exactly what, no, what the judge said you can't say is that you didn't rape her. Right. You did rape, I mean. It, he even said it in the, yeah. he said he penetrated her vagina with his fingers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. or it was his tiny, tiny Cheeto penis. We but don't know. So tiny, felt like a finger. It was this. Yeah, felt like a pinky. Uh-huh. Okay. I don't feel like there's been enough, uh, enough attention paid to that, Chris. <laughs> I think you. So tiny. I'm just saying, I think we should review Trump's penis. Here, let me get it. Hang on a second. <laughs> I think it's important to point out. Trump's penis is so tiny. How tiny is it? E- Thank you, Jody. E. Jean Carroll did not know if it was his tiny little orange Cheeto pinky or his tiny deformed Cheeto penis. To review. <laughs> That's that's a, a, our first edition of Guess the Penis. Oh, good, good, good. <laughs> penis or or pinky? <laughs> Hi, it's time to play penis or pinky, everybody. Was it his penis or his pinky? What do you like? Okay. <laughs> kind of like the game show, uh, Gay or Canadian? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I think penis or pinky is going to okay, take off. Sure. Wait, couldn't I host that? On? What's, I think isn't you should. There, what's the slutty channel? Is there still a Playboy channel or something? Not really. Not really. I no? think it's gone, right? Oh. What was the no. channel that you did? I got. I'm a ahead of on. my time. Skinamax. Who can say? Oxygen? Yes. Was it on Oxygen? Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> don't ask me to remember what networks my canceled TV shows were on. I don't know. <laughs> ask Jim J. Bullock. Oh, yes. I will ask <laughs> okay. him. He would know. All right. Or Terry Garr. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. I. Uh, this is, I mean, he seriously is trying to gin up a, a, a civil war now. He is yeah. so unbelievably dangerous yeah. that I don't even know how to put it in words anymore. He is literally, and they're admitting it. That, that, well, you were saying Senate Republicans are mad at him. The House is just, you know, taking his marching is, yeah. orders. The House has always rolled over for him. The Senate has given him a lot more resistance in the past than. Well, m- as we House mentioned House. yesterday, Mitt Romney is well, appalled. Mitt, Mitt. He is. Mitt. Oh, no. He, when he uses the word appalling, ladies and gentlemen, he is serious. Sheesh. <laughs> Goodness. Okay. When you've been slapped with the appalling mitten. Okay. Uh, thank you. I didn't have any, any other sound effect that would sound like <laughs> an appalling mitten. Okay. Yes. Uh, it, Dean Obadal, again, says that Trump is calling for another insurrection, hoping the U.S. Supreme Court is watching. They need to be patriots and disqualify Trump from ever holding office again. Trump is the greatest threat to our democracy since the fascists of World War II. Yep. I agree. I, I mean, agree. nationally, internationally, it, it is so terrifying. Yeah. The specter of this lunatic. Uh, yeah. Oh, by the way, I have a great guest. Oh, oh okay. Boy. Let's go. Let's yeah. do this, Nick. Okay. It's a Friday. Yeah. I'm feeling, I'm feeling Penis plucky. Penis or pinky? You said that. Extra wrong. You've saved all your wrong for the end of the I'm week. I'm feeling plucky. Oh, by the way. 
Uh, oh, we got a couple notes on Twitter. Oh, one is a uh, guy always calls me racist because we put Frangela at, at the end of the week. Like the back what? of the we bus. We close out the week with it. That's when they want to be on is in the last hour on Friday. Right. Because they don't get up super early. But that, I'm racist because I put Frangela at the end of the back, in the back of the show bus. No, we apparently. opened the whole week for them. Oh, and we got called because uh, I was singing the lyrics to uh, Baby Got Back uh-huh. yesterday. Oh, yeah. I and they, we got called California Mean Girls. Uh, it, because we're thin and so we don't like uh, we were lying because we don't like big butts uh, but, okay let, let me let me to... let me review Jody <laughs> psychosis is purely self-directed it's our own self-image we are not mean girls we don't judge anyone else it is our own psychosis who okay. says I don't like big butts I no know, me they said they were called me and uh, Jody okay. California Mean Workout, girls? Mean Girls, something. I don't know. Okay, listen, let's move on. <laughs> I do like big butts, and I cannot lie. And you know the whole know. song. What? You are then the with Sandra voluptuous women's. I like voluptuous women's. Well, mm-hmm. uh, you worked for Hot 97, which played that Hot kind of music. Hot 97, buddy. Yeah. It played that kind of music in the early 90s. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like a, I'm a connoisseur of bubblegum, of white person bubblegum rap. Yeah. Wasn't that the song Sandra Bullock did in the proposal with Betty White? I don't know. I never saw that. Fire? I believe so, yes. I believe you're the Sandra Bullock of this show. Thank you. Thank you. I I was Miss Congeniality. See? In America's Junior Miss You are already, see? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Which, that's like the loser award. Just now, all the other girls like you because you'll never win. Okay. Well, at least you were congenial. Oh, I was starting to guess the quote. Yes. (laughs) That stalks me at every turn. Okay, uh, uh, <clears throat> the court is accustomed to defendants who refuse to accept they did anything wrong, but in my 37 years on the bench, I cannot recall a time when such meritless justifications of criminal activity have gone mainstream. Who said that? Darkwing Duck. No, that would be Judge uh, Royce Lambert, uh, who is a Reagan appointee oh, okay. on uh, January 6th revisionism mm-hmm. from Trump on down. Uh, it, well, can't wait to talk to Glenn about that particular nugget as well. I mean, this is a whole, it's a thing now. Mm-hmm. We were talking about the January 6th defendant yesterday who's mm-hmm. screaming, calling the judge a clown and blah. I'd do it again. And, you know, and he got six years in prison. It's yep. like, it, yeah, no, this, this is not, I mean, Trump is finding out. I mean, he is around in real time and is going to find out in the E. Jean Carroll. He is going to get slammed. I mean, not only does he keep defaming her, but the whole point of this is to show some remorse so the settlement is less. Right. Oh, I mean, and it's going to be a huge settlement, and then he'll use that as, oh, it's ridiculous, and say, oh, we have to appeal because it's such a ridiculous... Well, it's ridiculous because you made it ridiculous, yep. and you also, by hiring your ridiculous lawyer, Ad- Alina Haba. Bless, Bless you. you. Thank you. Wow, is she a bad lawyer. Holy oh my cow. God. Awful. <laughs> she just, like, gets slapped down. Like She gets, like, two words out, and the judge's like, no. Oh, God, No. Okay, so we will break all that down with uh, Glenn in a couple of minutes. But uh, I, uh, yes, uh, Joe from Jurors, our friend, said uh, Republicans are threatening civil war over some razor wire. They say they need to deal with immigration while simultaneously tanking bipartisan legislation designed to deal with immigration. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I, the good news is we were talking about this before the show. I think people are getting hip to this. I, I don't so know too. whether it's a combination of the media doing its job, but yeah. it is clear this falls on Trump. Also, that Trump is the one saying, do yeah. not fix the border. Right. I want chaos. Right. Mm-hmm. It's also reasonable Republicans in the Senate who right. are pointing this out and yeah. saying, this is what's wrong with, with America right this second. Right. Right. Because as a lot of Republicans have even admitted, this is the best, yeah. the most conservative border deal they're ever going to get, right. even if they controlled all three branches again. Yeah. They yeah. never did it before. Why? I mean, I mean it's just insane, you know, to say there's a huge problem, but we're not going to do anything right. to fix it. It's just, I think it is exposing uh, them in a way. It's, it's something that the Democrats can run on. It's, yes, it, exactly. It's, the yeah. Republicans uh, and only Republicans are causing intransigence in, in our government. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Ooh, I um, just used the word intransigence. You Would you like to hear a little nanny boo boo stat? Sure. <laughs> Nikki Haley raises two and a half million dollars after Trump threatened anyone who contributed to her campaign. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you'd oh, like. that fundraising email they put out. Ooh, Dad's gonna make baby mad. Sure, he did. Trump world tells CNN that Trump is rattled by Biden taunting him as a loser who only Biden has beaten. Oh dear. Oh, it's the nanny boo boo. Trump apparently is rattled. Biden's relentless taunts, particularly calling him a loser who has only been beaten by Biden. Uh, He said, I do think he's trying to get under his skin. I think it's the smartest thing the Biden campaign has done yet. It rattles him and takes him off message. Oh, it is to laugh. I think, you know what? Here's the entertaining part of this. What? This 
you know, just a terrifying dance with fascism we're having is that it, his implosion is going to be so wildly entertaining. <laughs> like he's right. First, he's going to get the defamation <laughs> like verdict. And then what else is this week? I mean, he's going to well, he's going to blow gonna sue him, too, apparently. Yeah. So he's just going to blow, man. And it's going to be oh, it's going to be Cheeto dust everywhere. Yeah. Once he blows. Don't sometimes whales get too much gas and then they explode? Oh, yeah. yeah. There are videos of that be, on the beach. Yeah, it's, it's going to be like a big orange whale yeah. exploding. Oh, after like between, yes. Yeah. And they just explode. Like someone walks up and touches them. Well, Bing, you know what it is? It's like his Whoa. stupid mobby threats aren't working anymore. No, of course not. Right? Even yeah. we'll see about the, the border thing. But, you know, Republicans know how much he's hurting them. And they're just like, shush now. Right? Mm-hmm. And then, like, I, I, I well... We'll see, but I just stuff like that, like, dude, if you give to Nikki Haley, I'm gonna push you out of the fort and pull up the rope, and then it's like everyone's like, F- you, right? <laughs> Donors gave even more. So I I feel like he he even is seriously getting rattled. With throwing emails. money at, at Nikki Haley though is kind of throwing money yeah. down the toilet. Listen, you just <laughs> hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. I hope you'll join me on my new audio podcast, Justice Matters. I'll be using my 30 years as a federal prosecutor and Army JAG to unpack, break down, and explain the legal issues of the day, particularly where the legal intersects with the political. Please look for Justice Matters with Glenn Kirshner wherever you generally get your podcasts.